Digital Romance TV. Hello, my delicious friends at Digital Romance. Alana Pratt here, your intimacy expert. And this question was, I'm just like, really? You follow my videos? You, you, hmm. I, I'm touched. And um, thank you. Let's do, let's do some more work here. So it says, uh, Alana, my boyfriend is so extremely passive aggressive, just like his mother. I push him to just say when something is wrong instead of dragging it out with these little comments here and there. What tools or tips do you have for helping him grow a spine and let me know when he has an issue with me? While my words may seem harsh here, I do provide a loving open space for him to communicate. I keep my frustrations internal so that he doesn't feel judged or insecure as you've taught me through your videos. Thank you that I've taught you this through the videos, but the way you're writing makes me go bullshit because like you're so pissed. And, and yes, you are harsh. So even though you are keeping a wrap on it and pushing it down, it's like, it's in your cells, it's in your soul. So I'm pretty clear your frustrations are palpable on some level. Not that that's bad because you're clearly frustrated. I get it, but, but don't kid yourself. Men, men can smell a woman who's about to erupt or is frustrated. They can smell it a mile away. And they can also smell, taste, feel, sense a woman who is in non-judgment and allowance. And to be in allowance of this, oh, that's really, really, that's a good one. That's tough. Um, and even your first sentence, just like his mother. So, um, so, okay. So let's just go from frustration, validated frustration. Um, so like the, the lowest would just be like total like, feeling helpless, I might as well break up with them. Okay, then the next phase up would be like this feisty frustration, right? Just like his mother, rah. Let's go up to allowance. That'll take you you up to the next level. Allowance is, it is what it is. It is what it is, and it is what it is. And you're not going to want to change it, want to fix it, need to, da, 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 you're just allowance. So your question is all about fixing, right? Because clearly you're frustrated, I get that but you're not gonna get there that way. You're not gonna get there by going, he's wrong, he's bad, just like his mother. <laughs> that judgment is gonna stick him and you in the same dynamic. You gotta rise up to allowance. You gotta go, it is what it is. And it's gonna be like this forevermore. It's not gonna change. <sighs> Hi. Like, wow. There's no more judgment. There's just curiosity. There's just compassion. There's just, whoa, hey, hi. Hi, honey. Okay? That is a spiritual evolution, revolution, breakthrough right there, okay? For you to go from the frustration that you have, even though you're keeping it under wraps, to true allowance, non-judgment consciousness. Hi, I love this man and he always keeps the toilet seat up and I'm gonna to choose to love him even though every time I go into the toilet, I have to put the toilet seat down. It's like, it's allowance. So he does passive aggressive, he's terrified to speak. So we're not talking some evil murderer. We're talking some terrified guy. Okay. So if you're going to be judgmental of a guy that's already terrified, it's not going to go well, right? How can I fix him? What can we do? No, he's just going to be like, I'm a loser. I'm even more of a loser. And then he's going to like have even less confidence to talk with you. But when you're in a state of allowance, it's safe to talk with you because you don't judge, you don't fix, you don't make them wrong. And then we can start to create some invitations for him to go, hey babe, what else? What else is there? I, I sense there might be more you want to let me know. Take your time. I'd love to hear. Kindness, total kindness, total feminine invitation, right? There could be another flavor of uh, Kali, um, fierce love that could awaken him as well. But I would say that would be after he feels safe enough to be real around you. I think it would be too much and scare the shit out of him right away um, because he's already terrified. But there are times, few, when fierce love awakens the nobility in a man. But out of the gate, total divine feminine tenderness. Okay? I honestly, honestly, honestly ask both of you to go to alanapratt.com forward slash connect and apply for a complimentary strategy session only if the two of you, the two of you are interested in changing this because, oh my God, I can help you both change this. Oh my God. A session together 
two sessions separately, a session together, and then we'll see how we do. Probably session, session apart, apart. That will actually help each of you not be like, rah, 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 like that. Hmm. Two solid people having a conscious relationship. It's totally possible. If, if you love him this much, it's time to do some work. Two steps back to have 10 steps forward. Deeper roots so you can have higher shoots. The judgment isn't gonna work as good as you are of hiding it. I sense it and it's going to erupt one day and it's going to do unnecessary damage to yourself or him. It's not, it's not necessary. Some deep loving sit in the fire with me work is gonna shift all of this. Oh, who you guys will be on the other side, he will be in his grandeur able to step up and say what he needs to say, having ended the pattern that he learned from his parents. And you will be able to be that grateful, overflowing, feminine, awakening him and being so grateful that he's there. You'll be able to rest more, open more, be more radiant and luxurious. It's gonna be hot, all right? I look forward to hearing from you. And thank you so much for your question. If you wanna understand men better than they understand themselves, go to digitalromance.tv forward slash secret to watch a special presentation where Michael Fiore explains the weird psychology of men and what men need to truly commit to a woman.